What was it? Caravan and where? I've got a caravan and a safe. So we'll go to the caravan. Which is the caravan? The big bus thing? I assume you... <laughs> <laughs> the bus thing... I can't... We're going to get into it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Oh. There we go. Got it, yeah. Got nothing there. There's Ooh. mushrooms in here, though. Oh, I've got a key to the upper floor. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, there's this book here, by the way. The Escape. Do you want, do you want, do you want to read The Escape? Um, you're the one recording. Oh, <laughs> Oh, lovely. Right, so I've got a key to the, now. I've got a key to the safe and a key to the upper floor. Okay, the escape. Three pages. <laughs> Dear diary, <laughs> I've heard that the police are coming for me. L Lucally, my friend, the owner of Brick of Brickling Apartments, told me that I could hide in the abandoned factory. The only way inside is by jumping into the pipe from the from the roof of the apartment building. I have to get there as fast as possible. I have to escape. I can't get caught yet. Not after what I did. Oh, he's killed someone. He's killed someone. Murderer. I feel lucky to have been such a friend, even though what? Even though I won't actually call him a real friend. Fry what dick? I am using him. Ha ha ha. Yeah. He will befriend such an angry person. He's almost as crazy as I am. Dot dot dot. End. Oh. Oh, what a bad man. Right, read part nine. Oh, scroll back through everything on page. Right, part nine. All left begins his research in the old caravan, which smells of rust and strong alcohol. In one of the drawers, he finds a key to the upper floor and a book called The Escape. Olaf starts reading the book with a low-pitched voice. Oh, you read the book before the part nine? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's a shame, isn't it? Right. Okay, so yeah. we've got uh, the key to the upper floor and the key to the safe. So we should use the safe one first. Where's the safe? Oh, is what? it in the back? or? Uh, we would probably would have seen it. No, I don't think it is in the back. No. I, th I think we should go up first. Yeah, maybe then. it's in the upper floor and then we have to use the door to the upper floor. No so, idea. Wait. Third floor. What's this? What? Where? Oh, there's the third floor. There's a chest here that I can't open. Yeah. Oh, do I have to? Yeah. So do I have to put? Is that the safe? Safe. Oh, oh Jesus! You put it in the wrong friggin' place. And we've lost the key now. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I've got it. Have you got it right? So how? Um. Do... Is it there? We've what? God. Hang on. What's what's going on? I've lost it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it back. Um, where were we meant to put it then? Oh, Jesus. Here? Yeah? Oh. Wooden trap door. Um. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't know! Wait, what's these buttons for? Nothing. Room six on the. Ah! I just, like, almost died from falling Jesus, down. Jesus, you fell down two flights <laughs> of stairs. You're still alive. That's amazing. Room six on the right, top floor on the left. Should we just carry? Ow, God! I've just. Oh, so it. I'm guessing we use the key to the top floor. Hang key on, to the just... upper floor. Yeah, to, so that's floor. Is this one here. Top floor to the left, then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Right. I'm gonna search, you know, down here. Look for some chests. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got one. Oh, there's nothing in it. Brilliant. Yes. Oh, did you already take it? No. I'm just. There's nothing here, really, is there? What's this? I don't know. Why do they change? I don't know. Uh, right. And have you got that other one? Yeah, I've got the other one. Do, uh, do we know? You think we're meant to? What's this sign say? Oh dear. Do you dare to take the jump? Do you dare to take the jump? <laughs> oh, I see. There's a little thing chimney yeah. there. Ah! <laughs> I made it, <laughs> and there was good? a diamond in the chest. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> no, any time, any time, any time. Right, let's go. Whoa. This looks Ooh. horrible. Oh, there's an axe in here. Mine. Yep, you want to axe the door down. Oh. Um. Should you have done that? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> um, uh, let's have a look. What, what, what do we do? Read part 10. Oh, read part 10. Yeah. 
7, 8, 9, 10. The factory looked abandoned, as the diary said. It had a lot of old machinery which probably hadn't been used for decades. Olaf looked through one of the drawers in the corner of the room. An axe, he said, surprised. <laughs> not not far axe. off. Not <laughs> It's a hole in the wall. That bastard must have chopped through the wall. Olaf glanced in, uh, on the axe for a second. Wait, maybe I could chop, use this to chop down the barricade in the murder site, room one. First of all, I have to find my way out of here. Right. Well, there's a door here. Well, there's well, a door. Just, oh, who's, oh. Confronted by a per pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? Read it. Fuck off, don't think that you will get a part of my fab fabulous trash. Okay, okay. <laughs> is that, he's, is he's that a, a hobo? He's a, yeah, he's a crazy hobo. Oh dear. Uh, oh, is so, that, is that, oh. oh, it's the pipe then. Oh, so is it? this is how we get back. They say it is a man with a passion for mushrooms. What? Okay. Oh, look there. There's, there's another pumpkin man. I'm trying to get fruit. Go on, go on. Have you got it? Ah. Uh, uh, All right. Is that the is that the back door? Yeah. Going back in through the back door. Ah, uh, I'm going. We're oh. knocking fruit. Take it, take it. We got it. Read part eleven. There we go, ninja. Back through twenty pages. Part <laughs> eleven. It felt like forever to chop down the barricade. The room Olaf found himself in was a small office filled with lots of locked drawers, bookshelves, and, lap and a laptop. Most of the floor were covered in sheets. Somebody has... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody has searched through this already. Olaf went over the one of the drawers in the right upper corner of the room. It was open, and inside Olaf found another book and yet another shiny key. Yeah, there it is. Is that this one? Oh, oh so these are laptops then. Yeah. These are uh, stone things and oh, painting that I just broke. Oh right. God. <laughs> Have you gone through here? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I, oh. I'll break through. Yeah. Okay. My axe. What was it? I was going to oh. my new place. Dear diary, I find myself in the room, a new place to stay, room six. It is far more cosy than the old factory where I was accompanied by pumpkin men hobos. <laughs> 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 they were actually kind to me like I was one of them and I am, I truly am I had to lock up this place so nobody could find out about my reasons for what I did it's their politics they move, they want to move us just like they did with the squids <laughs> <laughs> they were once peaceful people but these idiots managed to remove them from the land now the squids are only brainless people swimming aimlessly around in the oceans I'm furious, I'm furious, I'm furious end oh yeah, by the way, this is wool so I'm not allowed to chop that down can you not? no, and we're stuck in here what? well then we've probably got to chop it down y you think? But then that'll take us to the murder scene, and it. Oh, oh no! I just broke the sign. Was that a bad? I'm pretty sure it was bad. Well, actually, there's wood here. Oh, maybe I should have broken that. Yeah, it's broke that. It's break that. Oh. oh. There was a sign here that I broke. So. Um... Ox, right? Yeah. What was it? What was it? What was the number that I had to read? That was your eleven before, wasn't it? Well, have we missed something? Uh, da -da -da -da. Forever. Some oh, well, I've, I've got a spare key, so I'll go out. Ola found another book and yet another shiny key. Oh, here we go. Room six. All right, let's go. Room six. Sorry, murder scene. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure that that sign's probably uh pretty, it's gonna uh, be pretty important. Room six on the right. Yeah, this one. Uh, I'm gonna have to You're gonna yeah. go. There we go. Aw awkward place. Yeah. Read part twelve. There's mushroom in here as well. Yeah. That's right, part twelve. Let's go for part twelve. Du -du 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 -du. Part twelve. Hello, Olaf yelled while entering the apartment. No one answered. It was as empty as a wallet. Right. Right, my wallet's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all them YouTube pennies you've been getting. Oh. 
<laughs> the apartment. <Non-existent. laughs> The apartment had a great view of the small town. A shiny safe made of steel was placed in the corner of the room. It needed a key. Luckily, Olaf picked up such a key from the trash can in the backyard. It was still covered in the green, mysterious liquid that smelled like old socks. He cleaned it with the bottom of his brown jacket. And this jack- Brown jacket. This jacket is from this moment on, beyond able to dry, be dry cleaned. Olaf said. He forced the key into the keyhole. It was followed by clicking sound. The caves began to open. It contained a key to room three and a diary from his friendly murderer. His friendly murder. <laughs> his friendly murder. His friendly murder. Right, here we go. Key for room three. You meant to pull the lever. Oh, did I? Mm, That's the whole point of the key. Still escaping. Dear diary, I am still escaping from the damn police. This time it was only one fucker that are haunting me. <laughs> That's what my friend told me. I think I can manage to move another to another apartment without being spotted by the detective. But that would be my last hiding spot. There are no more apartments in this building. Fuck! Exclamation mark. I feel like I'm picnicking. No, panicking. Fuck. <laughs> end. I really wish it said picnicking. That would be really funny. Uh, right, room three. Oh, that's down a floor? Uh. Number five, number four, and number three is this corner here. Yeah, you have to go up one. Oh. Just fell down two flights of stairs again. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, let me In the corner. Just right here. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Right. Uh. Is there any signs? Oh, hello. Oh, God. You finally caught me. <gasps> wow. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Keys to room free again. What? Oh. Right, 11. Uh, what was that? Number 13. 13, yeah. So who is this guy? It's just another pumpkin. <laughs> He's the murderer! <laughs> oh, we better not let him out then. Uh, right. A stench of mushrooms made Olaf shock his head backwards and forwards when he entered the apartment. He was here, the mushroom killer. Olaf knew it, he could smell it. Olaf's... Are you moving around mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> Olaf's... <laughs> Olaf stepped around the corner to the small room and found the killer sitting in the fetal position with his eyes wide open, like he had seen a ghost. Olaf felt that he was seeing a ghost, a ghost from a man from the past, a man with hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh dear, it's a good description. I, I feel like I'm, I'm one. we're one with the story now. The pumpkin man looked up at Olaf and said, I know you were coming, my friend. My friend told me, I know you had to do it. The sacrifice was for the sake of the people. I had to do it. If not, they would have removed just like the squids away from the cities. A sparkling tear made his way down from, from his eye down to the floor. I have to agree your mo- with your motive. Somebody can't, re- somebody can't just remove another species. On the other hand, you should not be a murder. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be a murder. Goddamn murders. To change the future, to protest is enough eventually. Olaf locked the pumpkin man's hands in a set of shiny handcuffs and continued, I have to take you to the station as prosecuted. Also, your beloved friend and I are coming with you as well. Then you two can have a great time together. The end. Oh. I thought you made that last bit up. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's, like, it's a murder. How, how can it have like such a happy kind of sounding ending? It's, it's, that's it. He's, he's the murder. And apparently he's got an absolute... <laughs> chuffed ton of uh, emeralds with him. I know, right? right okay, I... right, that's, that's the end. Um, God. That's, uh, yeah. Right, so the final thing to do, uh, how many diamonds have you got? I've got three. <laughs> oh, I've got seven. Right, thank you a lot uh, for... Uh, yeah. Thank you a lot for playing this map. I hope you like it. Make a comment about what you think, good or bad, if you want to. NB, there are still some secrets in the map that you haven't dis- discovered yet. Open up the chests and find some if you, loot if you can. And again, thank you. Thank oh, well, that's lovely, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed myself. I found another uh, diamond. Have you? <laughs> well, I, th- I think one of the things that it definitely didn't say on the uh, instructions was uh, to possibly set everything on fire. Um, How have you got a flint and steel? It came in, the, in this thing over here, and I've not used it once, and I feel that I kind of have to. <laughs> um, set yourself on fire. Yeah, I've set myself on fire a little bit. Oh, and this building's made of wool. That's that's going. Here we go. So the chef's gonna. Oh, that's it. I'm out. So yeah. Uh, this was what's the 
Mushrooms, the murders in Mushroom Street 42. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, oh God, there's a fire. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll hope to uh, see you next time. Maybe not in six months' time. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> 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 All right. See you later. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. 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 <laughs>